at Mopar, the aftermarket is not an afterthought. And that's why in 2012, we launched our Jeep Performance Parts brand to bring Jeep enthusiasts the quality tested factory backed products they want for their Jeep vehicles. And at Easter Jeep Safari, we're, we're excited to showcase a couple of concept vehicles that we have ready to show to the Jeep enthusiasts out at Moab. Overall, from a quality testing standpoint, we test our products up to 150,000 miles, both on-road and of course, off-road as well. And we need to make sure that they can withstand all the elements that mother nature can throw its way. And that's why we test down to temperatures uh, at a negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, all the way up to 203 degrees Fahrenheit. And corrosion testing is significant to make sure that our products can withstand the elements uh, we test up to 10 years equivalent of everyday use. And it's no wonder that the Jeep Wrangler is now the most accessorized vehicles with 90% of the Wranglers we're selling today equipped with Jeep performance parts and accessories. Overall, the Jeep for the Jeep lineup, we have over 500 Jeep performance parts and accessories available in market today. And you'll see a mixture of those products as well as some concept ideas on the vehicles we're gonna feature at Easter Jeep Safari. To take you through the details, I'd like to welcome our head of Mopar Design, Mark Trosel. Hello, I'm excited to talk to you about our 2021 Easter Jeep Safari Jeep Performance Parts Orange Peels concept that we've put together. We're really excited about this vehicle. The, the, the front bumper is our Rubicon front bumper. We've, we've actually added a, a grill guard to it as well, giving a little bit more protection to the, to the worn winch that we have up here as well. Moving down to the to the side of the vehicle, one of the things that you'll notice is that uh, you know the vehicle has a little bit uh, higher higher set to it. We have our two inch lift kit on there, sitting on top of our Jeep Performance Parts wheels, beadlock capable wheels, uh, and a 37 inch tire. So you can see that the two door really takes on this great stance to it as well. Um, I, the other thing I want to point out is the color. We had some fun playing with uh, a little bit of a, a vintage flavor of color to it, a straight shade orange. But note the, the high contrast between the, the orange and the black. I really love how that turned out. And you can see the, the patch on the hood as well. And then accented, accented by a secondary black stripe um, that runs around the vehicle as well. I love how that turned out. Uh, we have our five inch LED uh, Mopar accessory lights. And something else to note is that uh, our newly introduced Gorilla Glass windshield. So giving the serious off-roader or any customer truthfully, a little bit more added protection from, from uh, rock chips and cracks. So really neat uh, piece. Um, you also note on the side of the vehicle, kind of going with that, that vintage flavor color we have where we're utilizing a vintage Jeep badging really accents it well. We have our uh, modified rock rails. Well, we've added that same element that we had up front on the, the, the front bumper uh, to the rock rail also. Something else to note uh, that really helps, you know, really changes the, the vehicle visually, but also functionally by giving uh, more visibility to the driver to look out on the trails is our, our uh, Jeep half doors. And we've actually just introduced these. They're available now for purchase. Uh, this was an early concept uh, that we had put together, but uh, really, really creates a nice open air flavor to it. And that building on that open air for, for the orange peels concept, We've pulled the side glass out and the backlight as well. So really opening up the interior of it. Uh, moving to the back of the vehicle, uh, you can see we've got uh, our spare tire, Jeep Performance Parts beadlock wheel uh, with a, the heavy duty hinge to uh, allow for the obviously larger tire and also the Chimsel relocation uh, kit as well that uh, makes it, keeps it legal um, and allows customers to use a, a larger tire also. We have a Mopar cat back exhaust system, and we had some fun playing with colors on the uh, tow hooks as well. So with that, I'd like to take you through the interior and show you what we've done there. On the inside of the Orange Peels concept, we had just as much fun as we did with the exterior. And I wanna point out a few things that are, are available to our customers now. We do offer a cat skin seat kit uh, that our customers can, can purchase. We've actually modified them and we put this really cool uh, pattern, unique pattern into the seats. And we've also put that pattern into the center armrest and also on the door armrest. We've had some fun with some of the accent colors on the instrument panel, pulling the body color uh, into the inside of the vehicle. Um, some of the other things to point out 
um, are the, the slush mats. You can see a really cool uh, geographical uh, uh, design that we have in there with the, the Jeep lettering and also drain plugs. So uh, some of the other things uh, that I had talked about uh, on the outside that um, you can now see is the, the unique one, one piece freedom top with the, the, the piece of glass in, that we have in there to really open up the interior uh, lighting as well. Um, we also have here the uh, our, our grab handles uh, that uh, really help when you have the two inch lift and the 37 inch tires really uh, make it a little easier to get in and out of the vehicle. Uh, something else to note on the, the seat backs, we have our Mole seat back panel, so it actually provides a little bit more storage, however the customer would like to use it. Jeepster Magneto. Uh, this is probably one of the most interesting vehicles we've ever worked on for the Safari. Uh, this is a battery electric vehicle. So it it's, doesn't have a gas engine anymore. That's been removed. And to be clear, it's a retrofit. We started with a uh, two-door Jeep Rubicon. There are a multitude of batteries in this vehicle. And the whole reason for doing this was just to see what does a battery electric Jeep do in the off-road environment of Moab? Magneto is set to be kind of a test bed for us to answer those questions that we have curiosities about. We left the, the great Jeep articulating suspension in place. It has the, the Rubicon axles, the Dana 44s front and rear. The transfer case, the four to one Rubicon transfer case stays in place. And uh, most notably, the six speed manual stays in place. And the reason we did that was to um, we get kind of the best of both worlds of the automatic transmission off-road and the manual transmission. So off-road, I can do lots of gear selection with, with the manual transmission, including the low range. I don't have to worry about the clutch, so I get the direct feel of a manual transmission off-road, uh, but the ease of drivability of the automatic transmission. The, uh, the fact that you don't have to slip the clutch to get over rocks or et cetera like that because the engine can't stall. When the power, uh, the torque is delivered, it's early, uh, down low before the, the vehicle revs up. Interesting, uh, usually when things go bad uh, off-road, you rely on the power of an electric winch to, to get you out of a bad situation. The name Magneto itself is really derived from uh, the, the power uh, in electric vehicles, the magnets, and it's one magnet trying to get to the other. And it's it's a great torque delivery. We can drive this vehicle at very, very low speeds with high torque. Uh, and it's, a, again, a curiosity thing that we want to uh, go to Moab with and share it, honestly, quite openly, and try it out uh, in different terrain. So look for it in, uh, in Moab, Utah, for us to be really testing and trying this vehicle out. One of the other vehicles we're bringing for Moab is Jeep Red Bear, which happens to be a celebration really of the, the arrival of the diesel engine in the Gladiator truck. This happens to be a Gladiator Rubicon model. Uh, we've built it up for Moab duty. First thing we started with was a 37 inch tall uh, BFG mud terrain tire mounted on a 17 inch wheel. And we did that by using a, a Mopar lift kit on it. Front bumper is the Rubicon steel bumper, but we've taken off the end caps to increase the approach angle to the tire, added a, a, a hoop to it, and of course a worn winch. You'll recognize the hood is the same hood that we use on the 392 and the Mojave truck. Uh, it actually happens to be our export diesel hood. So use that because it's got this great look to it. It's a, t it's a taller hood. Going down the side, the other thing that's happening for us this year is the reintroduction of half doors, shown here in combination with the soft top on the, on the Gladiator. What we've done here is taken the side curtains off rapidly, the, the rear curtains all the way around, and then for a more, more cohesive look, we've added this, uh, this bed bar on here. It's, it's really an appearance item, but it looks really cool. Uh, the spare tire, the 37 inch spare tire has been relocated inside the box. Is a platform on top of that for storing coolers, cargo, etc. Inside it's remarkable because we've taken the carpet out of it. 
as we often do, especially for a harsh environment like Moab rather. Uh, replace that with truck bed liner on the floor. And then the seats have been restitched in black leather and this great lumberjack plaid uh, flannel. Really completes the look. So that is Red Bear Gladiator. Hi, I'm Mark Trosel, Head of Design for Ram in Mopar. Uh, standing next to me is our 2020 Top Dog Gladiator concept. Uh, we put this vehicle together to demonstrate the capability of, of the Gladiator with the Mopar accessories and the Jeep Performance parts on it. And we've catered the vehicle to be for that uh, hardcore mountain bike enthusiast that really likes to go way off-road uh, in extreme conditions uh, and giving them a perfect vehicle to get there with some amenities that go along with it. A few of the details of, over the products uh, that, we, that we have on the vehicle. Um, Mopar has over 500 parts and accessories available for, for the Jeep product lineup. We have over 200 Jeep performance parts accessories available for Jeep products as well. And we have a few of those shown here today. Uh, starting up front with our Rubicon front bumper, we've actually modified it and put a, a guard on the front of it, a grill guard on the front of it. And it also wears our worn uh, winch as well. We have our Mud Terrain 37 inch tires mounted to our 17 by 8 Jeep Performance Parts beadlock wheels. And we've created uh, some new steel uh, fender flares as well that help protect the vehicle. Um, you can see the vehicle sits a little higher. It has our two inch lift kit on it as well. Uh, also wears our five inch uh, LED A-pillar lights. And we have a, a concept hood uh, that we've developed for it as well. Moving down the side of the vehicle, we have our Jeep Performance Parts rock rail that we've attached a, a bar that you see is very similar to the aesthetic of what we have uh, on the front bumper. On the interior of the vehicle, we have our cat skin seat covers, accent stitching, uh, our, our Jeep Performance Parts um, slush mats, pedal kit, um, and we've had some fun with some, some paint accents as well, and a few of the grab handles that you see. And on the seat backs, we have our Mole seat back kit uh, that allows for some extra storage as well. Um, as I mentioned, uh, we added the, the P-Core unit to the back of it, and we, we had some fun with it, and that we really wanted to cater it towards the, uh, the mountain biker that does, go, that does go far out, maybe goes riding for the day, comes back and wants to uh, have something to eat or some beverages. So we have a Dometic re uh, refrigerator in it. And we've actually also installed a hot dog roller as well. So uh, definitely be able to have something to eat when, when you get back from riding. Moving to the rear of the vehicle, uh, some of the things that we've done back here, we've added a jerry can to the, to the back and obviously mounted our, our spare tire back here as well, which gives access to this great drawer uh, where we actually have our ladder uh, that will allow access to the mountain bikes stored on the, the top of the vehicle. We also have tow hooks, we have a trailer tow hitch, and then we've also added a winch to the rear of the vehicle as well. Uh, moving to uh, the, the passenger side of the vehicle, um, we've got, PCOR has some great storage in it, um, but you know, trying to again cater to the to the mountain bike enthusiast, where the other side is more of the, the the food and beverage side, if you will. This side is more for the support side of the mountain bike. We've got also got auxiliary lighting, all of our light switches in here as well, um, and then any type of gear that we want to have uh, along with it. So, really great vehicle. Uh, Mopar, Jeep Performance Parts, and the Jeep brand, plus adding the mountain bike ingredient into it, all really make a great, great team, and we're really proud of this vehicle. And something that's become sort of a tradition for uh, our Easter Jeep Safari workings, we have done another Resto Mod, where we pick a uh, historic vehicle from, from Jeep's past, put some love into it, uh, put some attention to detail to it, and sort of uh, think about it, remind ourselves of, of Jeep's history, but with a more usable vehicle. This year we selected a 1968 Jeepster Commando. And the Commando was important because there was the, the CJ down at the bottom end, but the Commando was a bit more special. It had, it had things uh, a little bit longer wheelbase to it, a different powertrain option group, 
uh, and special things like doors and roll-up windows and a hard top and a heater and radio, things that were optional or not even available on a CJ. What we did with the, the Jeepster Commando, uh, we used the powertrain complete uh, chassis steering everything from a brand new Wrangler Rubicon. So it has the two liter turbo four cylinder engine in it. And preparing it for uh, duty for Moab, we added a 35 inch tire on a, it's a Gladiator wheel that we did some special treatment to it, uh, added a two inch lift kit. The rest of the effort went into making this, this uh, vehicle a bit more beautiful on the outside. It was pretty beat up when we got it. Uh, we put a lot of love into the interior and the whole theme is sort of a beach. It's a, it's a, we call it Jeepster Beach, but it's a lighter theme than the heavy duty uh, rock crawling theme. It's a very cool car, very unusual. You don't see these around very often. Uh, and it's a piece of Jeep's history that we, we want to sh shed some light on. The interior is done with this beautiful red. There's a lot of bright and chrome on the interior. Notable on the back uh, is this very, this very cool cut back, so it has that slanted back. Uh, interesting, we, we uh, added a tailgate to the back. It's a custom piece that says Jeep. So that is it, the Jeepster Commando 1968, uh, ready for uh, duty in Moab this year. In the Overland category for this year for uh, Easter Jeep Safari, we took advantage of the arrival of the all-new Jeep Gladiator Rubicon with, equipped with the diesel engine. The vehicle is the Far Out, uh, and that really references that it now has a, a very high fuel range. We've set it up uh, again with 37-inch tires on a two-inch lift kit, custom wheels, a winch front bumper. The exterior color is a preview for a color that's coming for production. This is Earl. Uh, it's a very, very light uh, greenish gray. The interior has been redone in this beautiful uh, flannel plaid and black uh, interior. But the showpiece of this is really this AT Overland Habitat roof system. And what this is, is a uh, custom piece. It's made for the Gladiator. It fits on the box uh, and it opens into this, this wonderful uh, weatherproof tent. Inside of this is probably, uh, it's nearly 16 feet long, a ton of headroom in it. The sleeping compartment is over here and it's a full uh, double bed. The interior of it opens up like such and there's a kitchen accessories in it, including a, uh, a stove and a refrigerator. The interior is done intentionally in very warm colors, uh, bright colors in here, the orange and the wood. There's a little seating platform and again, up into the front, there's, there's a uh, sitting area. This is, this is the stove and then the slide out refrigerator. So you have camping, you have a kitchen set up here. If the weather's inclement or bad, you can get up inside of the vehicle. And then there's awnings on both sides of the vehicle. Very cool system. Uh, it's an aluminum construction made specifically for the, uh, the Gladiator. So as you can see, we had a lot of fun with these concepts. We, uh, we love doing these and we love showcasing uh, the Mopar and Jeep performance parts uh, that are available to our customers. So thank you.